middle, two buttons on the side. So click to go to the next image and click this side to go back to the previous images. That's it. Okay, and it's a flash file and you can embed it into maybe a website afterwards um, and it will show up in your website. It's fantastic. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to open up InDesign. And in the InDesign, we're going to go um, new document. And the document, let's make sure it's for web. And we'll keep all the default um, orientation landscape. Um, one page is all we need and then hit OK. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we want to change um, the workspace. So click on new in CS6 or if you don't have that, uh, maybe advanced will have the options you need. Yeah, object states, yep, that'll do advanced. But if you've got new in CS6, click on that. Okay. Let's get going. So we're going to go file place and we're going to place all the images we want in the slideshow. So I've got five images and I'm just going to select them all and hit open. Now, right now, I have the opportunity to decide where I want the images to go and how big I want them to be. So I'm going to, and I will make it about that big. And now my images are all the same size, so they're going to fit perfectly on top of each other. So I'll click and drag the next one. Click and drag the third one. I've got five images. Now, if you had more images, um, you could, instead of clicking and dragging to speed up time, you could just click and then it will place the image in the document um, at its normal resolution and size. Okay, so they're all my images. I've, I've placed them in. Next thing I'm going to place in is my two buttons. So I'm going to go File, Place, and I'll get, um, I'll get the big arrow. And I'll put one just here. And I can just copy this instead of placing another image. I can just click on it once, hit Control C on the keyboard or Command C on the Mac to copy. And then click over here and hit Control V on the keyboard or Command V on the Mac. And then just resize it. Or reposition it, sorry. And also rotate it around. So you'll notice if I put my mouse just outside of that area, I can rotate. Cool. So now I've got my two buttons and my images in the middle. The next thing we're going to do is actually make these images in the middle one object. Okay, so we're going to select only the images in the middle and then we're going to go over to this um, object states workspace over here click on object states and we don't have any object states at the moment so we need to create a new one so we click on the new button and there it goes it creates a new state for us and when we click on the different states you'll see it changes so we know it's got an all five images and that's perfect. I'm going to give my state, uh, object state a name. I'm going to call it slideshow. And I'm going to go around and just name each image as well. So this is like uh, colorful milk. 
this one is uh, colored hands. Now naming your states is very important. Um, it builds in so this one. It saves time in the in the long run. This one is a bird. All these images I got from Google Images. Um, zebra. Okay, so we've created our object state, but we don't have these buttons working. They 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 don't change the state of the object in the middle at the moment. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to click on this button uh, over here that we want to make a button. We're going to go to button and forms. Now, what we're going to do is while this button is selected, we're going to tell it what type of ob um, button it's going to be. It's going to be a normal button. Uh, the name of it is going to be next image and the event we want is when we actually click on that button we want it to do something and what do we want it to do we go under actions and we want the object state in the middle to change so we're going to say go to next state the object state we're changing is called slideshow that's the one we named in the middle and we want the button to stop when we get to the last image so stop at last state okay next thing we're going to go over and do that to this one over here so click on this one once and then make sure you want to create a button out of it you're going to name this one previous image button the event is on click and the action you want to give it is go to previous state and the object state you're changing is a slideshow and you want it to stop at the first state so it doesn't keep going okay before we um, export it if you want to test to see if it's working you'll see this it's called SWF preview if I click on that I can expand it out hit the play button on the bottom left and we can actually have a preview of all the functionality so let's have a look if it actually works. I click on the button and it just changes the states. Click on previous and it goes back. That's fantastic. It's what we wanted. The last thing we're going to do is just change the background. It's currently set to white. I'm going to set it to black. So I'm just going to get this rectangular tool. And I'm just going to put a rectangle over my whole page here. And I'm going to give it a color. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to fill it up with black. But you can pick any color you want. There are tons and tons of colors to choose from. Um, I'm just going to choose black. Hit OK. After I've made it black, I'm going to get the selection tool. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to tell it to arrange and send it to the back. So everything else is on top of it. And that's it, we're done. We're going to go File, Export. We're going to put it on the desktop for now and I'm just going to call it Slide Show Finished. And we need to make sure it's a Flash Player SWF file. Hit Save. Now here, we don't want HTML files. We scale it 100%. And we don't want interactive page curls. Just turn that off because we only got one page. Hit OK on that. It will export out. And there it is. It's finished. Let's have a look at it. And it's working. Brilliant. And that's it. Again, then you can go ahead and embed that into a website or whatever you want take into consideration that it is a flash file and you can have something like this. It's great. Okay, hope you learned how to create an um, image gallery using Adobe InDesign. Um, the buttons were done in Photoshop and all the images I got from Google. You could uh, create yourself any type of photo gallery using your own images. Thanks for listening.